I've received some questions on how to create fake blood, so I want to answer that here with a little tutorial that will give you a simple and fast way to start creating fake blood on an image. And I'm just going to take an image that I grabbed from iStock Photo. Great shot and I'm just going to use this to illustrate a little bit on how to add fake blood. So now we have skin here and uh, just suppose we want to add you know a blood smear or clotted blood. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a blank layer over top of my background image and I'm gonna show you how to paint in blood. Now you can obviously do this uh, a lot of different ways. Uh, you can take this technique and tweak it to fit your own. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna grab my brush tool and I'm going to bring the opacity down, 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 down to right about 8%. And I may mess with that a little bit. I'm going to go into my brushes palette. And what I'm going to do is look down here. And Photoshop has some default brush palettes that you can uh, load. Dry media brushes, faux finish brushes, uh, calligraphy, natural, special effect. What I'm just going to do is I'm going to grab dry media brushes. I'm going to append my palette. I'm going to go and just look through some of these and find a brush that I like. And at this point, I'm going to grab this brush right here. You'll notice that when I pull it off, this brush has a lot of different uh, little points to it. So it, it's kind of more of a painterly feel to it. I'm going to bring the diameter down a little bit. So now I have a good start for my brush. Now, color-wise, when you create fake blood, this is going to depend on whether you want it to be fresh blood, but we're going to go for kind of scarred, dried blood looks. So it's going to be the darker, uh, sort of rich colored blood. I'm going to go to my color palette, and I'm going to choose an actually very light color of blood. And you may think that doesn't look like it's going to be dark. It doesn't look like it's going to be crusted, uh, but we're going to make it look that way. You're going to go into your layers palette, and on the current empty layer you have, set it to multiply. Now after you set it to multiply, uh, get the size that you want for your brush and I'm gonna make mine a little smaller here and just go ahead and start painting at 8% and just keep brushing over it. and Keep brushing at 8% with your blood and you know this is going a little slow so I'm gonna raise mine up just a bit because we're on something uh, with a little more color I'm going to raise it to 17% and I'm just going to keep painting. What you do when you have such a low opacity there is is you create a layered effect so it doesn't look like one brush stroke but it looks more like a series of brush strokes. And I'm just I'm creating right here almost a scratch sort of a feel. And it looks as though somebody has run their fingernail over his back. So you have kind of a blood coming to the surface effect. And if you want it to be thicker and heavier, just keep raising your opacity as you go along and keep painting it in. Now you can change uh, the blending mode and see what it looks like. You may go to color burn, you may go to overlay, and you'll see how the difference in the different layer blending modes make the color change. I'm going to stick with lighten for right now. I really like the way lighten looks. And we're going to leave this scratch, this kind of a light cut right here on his back for now and we're gonna do something a little bit different we're gonna go over and we're gonna make our red a little darker I'm gonna bring it down a little bit I've got a little higher opacity this time we're gonna do it at about 28 percent I'm gonna go down here to his arm and I'm just gonna paint in right here on his arm with the opacity like it is And what we're getting here is kind of a bruised, scarred look, which is great if you want to uh, make an image look as though the person's been beat up. Maybe we want to make it look like his hands are scraped and uh, he's been hitting or, or holding something that's bloodied. He's been in a battle. It just gives kind of a roughened look to it. And you'll see how it still retains a really natural look. It just looks uh, very raw. So now what I'm going to do, because I want a little more fullness, is I'm going to go and grab a new brush. And for this one, I'm just going to get a simple brush. I'm just going to get a soft-edged, round brush that you can find in any color palette. Take it with the color that you have and just run across once. And you'll see what you get is kind of a bruised red appearance. 
Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to that hand, and with a light opacity, I'm still I'm going to I'm painting a little bit more around his fingers, just with a smaller brush, and this just makes it look like he's ha he has blood on his hands. He's been uh, touching something bloody, maybe holding a knife or whatnot, and here also because you have it set on multiply and you're not painting it it retains the lines of the hand and it retains the shadows that you get there in your image so you don't lose that contour to it if you want let's say uh, something dripping off of his hand put a little bit of blood here and we just have it coming down and because we have it on white right now we can do that and it's not going to look bad uh, we could just have as if blood is is dripping off of his fingers right now this is a lot about painting and fine tuning it and just getting it to look the way you want it to look because obviously uh, you know you'll have wh whatever you want for your own uh, project and you can make it as bloody as you want and the more you paint the more blood you get uh, but there we go and we might even take that same brush and go up here to his cut and apply you know some some dripping blood coming down and you can build on these layers and building on them is great you spend a lot of time making them look a lot more realistic but there you go we have a nice little faked cut faked bloody hand and that'll give you an idea of what you can do all done on one layer set to multiply with a couple of different brushes and a few different types of reds so try it out experiment and enjoy